Well, getting ready for the 4th of July. It's been raining here every day for the last few weeks. Finally got the yard mowed and got it weed eaten. <sighs> Tomorrow's the big barbecue. I am freaking hot. I'm looking forward to probably about 50 people showing up here tomorrow. So it'd be fun. Got my old girl here, man. She's pretty rough. I've had her for years. Oh, Kingsford Walmart style grill. Let me see, she just worn out. So my baby brother bought me a new one last year for my birthday. I've never used it. I put it together and just left it in the garage. But I just got to making his first burn in it. So I'm looking forward to cooking that tomorrow. But we are cooking up some food. Let me tell you. I got my middle son came up from Springfield down at the lake. He got here an hour or two ago. As soon as he got here, I put him to work. He wants to go play around in my Camaro, but I put him right to work. Got his little butt out there mowing the yard. Give him something to do. That's how you do it right there. Make him work. He's just about done with it. Can't mow that back there. It's a swamp because of all the rain. I gotta move the chairs here. Here, let me give you a peek preview of what we're cooking up in here. I went all out this year. We're not just cooking hamburger and hot dogs. No, brother. Sorry about my kitchen, it's a mess. I've been going through this thing, but look at this. There's a slab of ribs, another slab of ribs, chicken and pork chops and hamburgers. I spent close to $300 in meat this year. And of course, I'm gonna have my baby brother come over and cook it up. Ought to be a fun time. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon Saturday, man. I ain't doing any calls yet, so I just hell with it, I just went home. I'm trying to get my stuff done, you know. People don't realize how much effort, money, and time it takes to put on one of these barbecues. Got my old Camaro sitting over here in the shade. And we are just relaxing. As soon as we get this front yard mowed here, we'll be done. Then I gotta clean my house. Man, I hate cleaning the house. I hope you guys are going to all are going to have a good 4th of July. I know yesterday going down 71 Highway, going down to the lake, them roads were packed. Sorry you're not seeing much content on towing. Me and Triple A had her falling out. So I'm working down at the shop right now and I just ain't been doing anything exciting. Just ain't been doing nothing exciting. Oh man, you broke my you broke my lawnmower? No. Man. man. It'd be like that. Well, I just use that. What is it? What a 10, 15 dollar part? Man really? broke my lawnmower. Well, if you broke my lawnmower, I'm gonna to kick his ass. Oh please do, old man. You know y'all, that lawnmower right there, I got it out of the junkyard about four years ago. Literally out of the junkyard. And it's still fucking around. And I put it all back together and got her going. I've been mowing the hell out of this yard with this thing. <sighs> All right. Well, like I was saying, me and Tripway had a falling out because I put a video up and they didn't like it. After I had the customer's permission and everything. <sighs> They're just a bunch of big bullies. Well, we're going to see how long I am suspended for. Huh? Oh, what a beautiful day before the 4th of July. There's so many people at the lake having fun on the boat. <sighs> I got my yard done. 
I'm ready to go. I just got the phone with my baby brother. He'll be here tomorrow. And we're going to get to cooking. But I hope you guys are all enjoying your days. Hope you're with your friends and family. You get to enjoy your time. That's what 4th of July is all about. Family. Friends. I just hope it ain't too hot here tomorrow. And for the folks that don't get to make it over here for my barbecue, I'm sorry. If you didn't get to come, I will miss you. And know that you are on my mind. God, I love this place. For a lot of y'all don't know, I'm about two and a half, almost three acres here. And it goes all the way over to that tree line, all the way around. And I love this place. Hopefully I'll get back to making some more videos and putting stuff up, like I was saying earlier. You know, me and AAA had a phone out, so hopefully we can get that stuff rectified here pretty quick. Hmm. My son here by him took him up. He was buying some fireworks. He wants to shoot off some fireworks. This guy. You know how many times have you went to the fireworks stand and bought fireworks and then went back home, shot them off, and went right back to the fireworks stand? Yep. There was years ago, man, I'd spend five hundred or thousand dollars in a minute on fireworks. You don't do it no more. I know I'm just trying to make y'all some content here, man. I ain't putting nothing up in a little while and I feel guilty about it. But also, I just want to let y'all know I'm still alive. I'm still recuperating from, recuperating from my Florida trip. That's my middle son. He's a knucklehead. I can't mow that over there because that all turns into swamp and it's been raining for two weeks and it's nothing but a puddle of mud over there in water. I think I got my landlord pretty close into talking into him to end selling this place to me. I hope. I hope. Alright guys, I hope you all have a good 4th of July. Be safe. Don't drink too much. And if you're at the Lake Danner, please be careful. Every 4th of July you, you hear nothing about a bunch of people that died on the river down there on the lakes from drowning. Please be careful guys. <sighs> please be safe. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. And I almost forgot. I've had a lot of people asking me about my Corvette. I still got it. It just sits in here because it's too uncomfortable for me to drive. I'm too long-legged and it hurts my knees when I drive it. But she's still sitting in here. She'll fire right up. I took the battery out of it and put it in something else. But I didn't put the battery back. I can put another battery in it. But I still got it. It's just dirty. As you can see right there, she's just dirty. But I have decided, I think, here in the next few days... I'm probably gonna bring it out of the garage here and I'm gonna clean it back up and wash it and do all that and I think I'm gonna sell it. There's a place over here in Kansas that does Corvette connection and he sells them across the uh, United States and across the seas and people buy these overseas. So this car might end up overseas so I can get it out of my garage. You know what, I've had it two or three years now, three or four years, something like that. And I haven't put 50 miles on it. I don't even drive it. It's more of a table than anything. You got rags on it, you know. And it's just, I think it's time to let somebody else have it. I've spent way too much money on it. It's time for it to go. I figured I got about $20,000 in that Corvette. And it might be worth 10 to 12 to somebody, maybe. So, yep. There's your update on the Corvette. What I haven't showed you guys yet. Is my new play toys. Hmm. Got me a couple of Yamaha hammers. I got me a Yamaha blaster, two stroking, and then I got my 350 Raptor Yamaha. I got them out of the shop. 
that blue one there that thing is freaking crazy fast i love that thing this one here's a lot of fun to drive too been wanting to take them down to lake and go four wheeling but i've just been working too much hopefully i'll get some content on that where we're riding around in the, in the weeds and the mud huh but that's one for another day as you can see i still got my camaro it ain't going nowhere i drive that about every weekend every chance i get i'm in that thing i did have a guy the other day try to offer me twenty thousand dollars for that corvette though and i refused it i said nope because i know what they're going for on the internet right now ones I find in that kind of shape right there going for anywhere between about thirty and forty thousand dollars. Can you believe that? That's hard to believe for this Corvette, this Camaro. Back when I was a teenager and in my twenties, I used to buy these cars all the time for two hundred to five hundred dollars. And now they're going for that kind of money. Ain't that hard to believe? These people out here are fanatic about spending money. But you know, I'm always willing and dealing in cars, so you never know if somebody come up and gave me the right price for it, they might have this old Camaro. All I got to say is they better know how to drive it though. Cause the thing right there will get you in trouble in a minute. All right guys, like I said, please be safe at the lake. Enjoy yourself, have fun with the family and friends. Try not to drown. Thanks guys.